Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon, ching ching ching, for notification of up and coming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about summer fish, in particular the flatfish that we catch at this time of year. Fish species like diamonds, um, honeycombs, sandies, thorntails, those are the fish that we will be targeting. Today I'm going to be talking about the hook that I've been using for the last couple of months, actually for the last couple of years. But it's new to Kingfisher. We've now acquired the Marutu agency. And I just want to show you quickly the Marutu hooks. This is the circle hook in the Marutu range. And then this is the J hook. Okay. Other items that I'm going to be using to do this demonstration would be the wire. For instance, I'm going to be doing a lot of FMJs today. I've also got fluorocarbon so don't don't uh, knock that one okay so as far as the wires go I'm using the American fishing wire I've got three different variations I've got the red blood wire now if you look at it there you'll see it's red in color what makes this unique it's quite a hard wire with a very thin coating on it it is ideal for those rough conditions, when the sea's up, when you're fishing next to a reef, where there's a lot of uh, rolling white water. Guys, the red blood wire can't be beaten for that. You've got, of course, the seven by sevens. Seven by seven is seven strands times seven strands, and it is a lot softer. It comes in two colors. You get, you get the, what I call the sand color, the, the camo sand color and that becomes totally translucent when it's lying on the sand again it's very soft very supple for those days when you're fishing in crystal clean water and the bite is hard to come by that is the kind of uh, wire that i like to use you get the seven by seven in black ideal for nighttime conditions and again um, very soft very supple guys like black there we go we've got it in black now you ask the question, why use wire? You're fishing for fish that don't have teeth. Well, very simply, when fishing for skates and um, those flatfish like uh, thorntails, um, honey cones and that, they've got a very abrasive tail. The spike on it is about that long, and it is extremely sharp. It does fray on your line if you're using line. And I will be making a trace out of our fluorocarbon. Um, and a lot of times you'll fight the fish for an hour and all of a sudden you come back and you'll find that you've got that much nylon left and it's all frayed up. Because the tail is hitting on it the whole time. And uh, of course the, the spark has worn through it or the tail has worn through it. Another reason we use wire a lot here in KZN is because there's a lot of sharks. You get a lot of grey sharks. The raggies are around. You get the zambies up at uh, Umtanzini and that. So guys, we use it a lot because of those things. You get the blackfin. If you're fishing up at Vidal, at Sudwana, we use a lot of wire. Okay, just as an extra precaution, um, I will be doing, like I said, a trace using fluorocarbon. I'll show you how to tie that. Other items that we require for it is our NT swivels. Okay, very important to use an NT swivel when you're using wire. The reason being, the NT swivel has got a little curve on it. So when it runs down your wire, it doesn't give you the pigtail that, for instance, the normal power swivel will give you. But it's got a smaller area. When the sinker runs down it, or the fish takes off, or when you're actually striking and pulling against the swivel and your sinker, you get that little curly pigtail. 
if you create a bigger area over which that wire runs, less chance of the pigtail. And that's what that NT swivel does. Now for doing our stopper knots, we can either use the Kingfisher number one uh, swivel, that's our barrel brass swivel. And the reason we use number one, it works perfectly on our 90 pound. Okay. Um, otherwise, we use a soft nylon. I'm going to show you how to tie this. It doesn't damage the wire at all or the nylon. I mean, it's very hard to put one of these crimps on your fluorocarbon because it damages the fluorocarbon. But also, if you crimp it too hard, you could damage your wire. So I prefer to use nylon, but I'll show you both methods here. And again, we've got our beads. The reason we use the beads is for the swivel. It's a pretty much a stopper that we use for the swivel to go down. And as soon as it gets to the end of the actual swivel, it will lift up your bait and move it off when the fish is moving. Color-wise, it's up to you. Okay. We've got greens, we've got uh, reds, there's clears available. It's up to you as an individual which bead you'd like to use, but you at the Kingfisher, we've got both colors. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to tie the J hooks. I'm gonna use the black um, Surflon Supreme uh, American Fishing Wire. And again, I'm gonna make it about 1.2 meters. The roll is five meters in length. Okay, so if you make it 1.2, at the end of the day, you'll get four traces out of it. Take our side cutters, cut that off. This is more for the guys from the old school that like to use J-hooks. Yazama Rutu Eito J-hooks. There's still a lot of people out there that are old school, and I'll say that in a nice way, that prefer to use J-hooks. I personally think fishing for skates and that circle hook is the only way to go. Okay, <clears throat> Marutu um, J hook. It's a strong, thick hook, offset, lovely, lovely hook, especially for those bigger, stronger fish. Brusher, deadly, deadly hook. Uh, sand sharks and that, where you've got a hard molar. For instance, you could be using a circle hook and the circle hook doesn't go around the actual molar of the actual duckbill or honeycone or sandy, J-hooks. I promise you now, when you set the hook with this, it goes straight through the jaw. Very difficult to take the hook out once you do that. But this hook will go through the jaw, I promise you now. To tie the hook, again, you can just use a figure of eight. Um, how we tie it, top right hand side corner, we'll show you how to tie the figure of eight onto you. I'm just going to use another knot that I've used for years, and I just want to show you how we tie it over here. Don't ask me what it's called. I've got no idea. I think it's a Palama knot, but just tied in a different way. Have a look here. What we do, and I'm almost sure this is a Palama knot, is we stick the hook in the vise, like so. We take the actual American fishing wire, the black one, through the eye, we wrap it around, and go through the opposite side. Okay. We then take the loop that's formed, pull it off over the eye of the hook, take our pliers, pull the tag end, and then pull on the main line. <coughs> Done. It's as easy as that, guys. There's nothing fancy about it. Okay, so there we go. You can see it's, it's double around the eye of the hook, and that's why I like that knot. It goes double around the eye, so it's just a lot more secure. Take uh, your side cutters, pliers, and then cut off the tag end as close as you want. And there we go. So that is the first hook. Okay. The second hook, we pretty much snell. Remember, go through the top. If I can show you, you go through the top, down. <clears throat> And depending on the size of the baits, I've been using uh, mackerel heads and that, so a small bait that size would be ideal. It'll give you a nice cricket ball size bait. So the R basically in line with the back part of the hook. That's rule of thumb, 
It's up to you. You can make it bigger, you can make it shorter, but that's the way I like to keep them, nice and close. To tie it, again, we go through the eye of the hook, and I'm going to wrap it around five times. Bring it 90 degrees, back, once, twice, three, four, five times. Take the end and straight through the top. Exactly the same as what we do when we're tying a circle hook. Okay, because that's pretty much what you're trying to do, is form a half a circle. There it is there. To finish it off, okay, so what we're going to do now is take the lighter and melt that plastic. So lightly. So just so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to do it this way so you guys can see. Just so we start melting the plastic ever so lightly. There we go. Pull tight. Give it a couple of seconds to actually... There we go. And the knot is complete. So that is basically your double hook done. I can either tie nylon to it to form the stopper knot, or I can take a crimp. It's up to you guys. And again, I'm just going to do the nylon one because I just find that the nylon works a lot better for me. It doesn't damage the plastic rather than using a crimp. But crimps are easy for guys that want to do it quickly. You put the crimp on, da, 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 done. If you've got crimping pliers, even easier. But I'll just get a piece of nylon quickly, 080, 070. Two seconds, I'll be back. So here we go. To tie the figure of eight, it's very simple. Again, if you want to see how to do it, top right hand side, it'll be a lot slower uh, with more explanation. But very simply, put the nylon opposite the actual line over it and you just go around one, two, three times, like that. Pull tight, you see there's the figure of eight forming, just do that. Make it about 500, 600, it's up to you. I prefer to keep it shorter, it doesn't allow the fish to take it too far down. Circle look, if you make it longer, it gives the fish more time to feed and easier for the hook to set. When it comes to J-hooks, you don't want to hook the fish in the stomach, so make it shorter. It's just better for the fish at the end of the day. Okay, here we go. A little bit of lubrication, take your out. Pull the knot tight. Side cutters, mustard scissors, whatever you want to use. Cut off. There we go. So first one done. Second one. One is good, two is better. Two, three times. And again, if you're worried about your knot moving or slipping, or if you haven't tied it properly, super glue or UV knot sense. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there we go. There's my stopper knot, now complete. Again, you can either use a green a glow bead, clear glow bead, it's up to you. I'm just going to use a red one so you guys can actually see it. Nothing wrong with the red one. Just personal preference, guys. Okay, so there it is. The stopper knot is there. I'm taking my NT swivel. Okay, here we go. NT swivel onto the wire. There we go. So there's the NT swivel. A number one power swivel. And we tie a figure of eight. Remember, tying with wire twice. Once, twice, go back through. <clears throat> Pull the figure of eight. You can see I'm making it smaller, smaller, smaller. Just use your teeth. There we go. Now what we're going to do is just slide it down, there we go, to where the swivel is, and of course we're going to pull tight, here we go guys. It's a good way to test your knots, make sure everything's tied properly, there we go, one, two, three, okay. And Cut off the tag end. Like I said before, you can take some um, heat shrink, 0.8 mil heat shrink, 
and you can slide it up onto the knot about that far away and it just neatens up the whole trace. So there is the double J hook for those of you that like to use J hooks. <clears throat> okay, now just small little run through on these traces again. Okay, so guys, don't forget all the knots you've seen that I've tied here on the wire, on the nylon, top right hand side corner, just go and click on that. It's got all the knots done slower and more simpler for your uh, benefit. Now, the baits that we use on these actual um, traces, again, are also available on the top right hand side. You'll see the bait clinics or demonstrations for all the knots, uh, for all the baits, all the traces that we've used for catching your diamond, your sand shark, your honeycomb. If you're gonna use it for gray sharks, there's the traces. There's the bait demonstrations on how to tie the baits. Okay, now just run through the benefits of what I've done here. Nylon one with a circle hook is ideal for those very skittish fish in very clean water. Vidal, Sudwana, places like that where the water is very clean and you're fishing over sand. This is what I recommend you use, the fluorocarbon one. Um, in particular, if there are no sharks around or if you're not trying to target sharks, use a nylon fluorocarbon. It works extremely well for clean water, like I said, over sandy areas. Okay. When fishing an area where you're not too sure you might get a, a shark biting or there are skates but there's the odd shark around or odd shed around, um, stuff that might damage your line, and the sea is particularly flat and it's hard to come by a bite, the 7x7 camo cannot be beaten for that. You can catch blues, you can catch everything on it. It is one of those traces that is so universal, it works like a dream. Guys, camo cannot be beaten. <clears throat> the red bloodline works extremely well in conditions that are very rough and turbulent where there's a lot of movement in the water and the bigger fish around more sharks than anything else the harder wire works better and again it's more for clean water um, fishing transcar off the top of ledges and stuff like that where you need that extra length of security hound sharks this stuff is absolutely brilliant for hound sharks spotties stuff like that guys that hook with that trace, can't be beaten for those kind of fish. The fish that feed over ledges in that very turbulent water, red blood line, the American fishing wire, can't be beaten for that. <clears throat> Double J hook. Again, soft, supple, works well for those guys that are fishing for fish that are very finicky. You get in that bite, but they're not committing. A J hook, if you just Give it a little bit of a twitch, you will generally hook the fish in all sorts of areas. Just bear in mind, when taking the hook out, especially on a diamond or a honeycomb and that, when they're flapping around, be very careful with a double J hook. Taking that out of a fish's mouth. Uh, it could end up with one hand getting caught in the hook and one hand in the fish's mouth. Just be careful. It works extremely well. Um, the, the elder guys out there, the more mature gentlemen, use it a lot in the old days. It still works. Yeah, 7x7, seven seven, black, extremely good for those finicky fish, guys. Go out there and enjoy. Don't forget, everything that you've seen us use here in the demonstration today is available from leading tackle stores nationwide as well as from our Kingfisher branches. Go out there and enjoy, guys. See you on the beach.